Hello, you beautiful legends, and welcome to this shaky first segment of Blunt Force Healing Podcast. This is episode 471, and it's 2nd January, so second time of the new year, and the life continues. As the title says, nothing major happened, and it was kind of expected, although I think many people were expecting that this year will be uh, something amazing. Maybe it will be, but just by saying it and assuming it will be, it's kind of wishy-washy. The same way as we think that the last year was bad or anything like that, it's also not true because we tend to ditch previous year and start anew and say like, oh, finally I forgot or kind of survived this 2023. You can replace 2023 with any past year uh, as we tend to dismiss them. Uh, Some people are more I would say thankful for, uh, I would say, 12 months prior. But as with everything, everything, I don't know what did I say. As with everything, the actual key thing or the approach to things, in my opinion, is to see it in a balanced way. Nothing is just purely black and white, right? And of course, the last year is easy to dismiss it and see it in a bad colors because, you know, we were tired already in December after long months of 2023 and whichever year you picked. So coming to the new year, there's a psychological aspect to it that we we can comfortably have that threshold or that milestone or that characteristical and widely accepted moment in this particular case, a date in a calendar that kind of allows us to excuse ourselves and say, last year was shit, let's get and smash the new one. And guess what? We'll have a chat or review in the next January. And let me play Nostradamus here or whoever you pick as a someone like oracle or visionary, whatever it means, we'll have the same conversation. 2024 will be shit year and we will want to forget it while 2025 we will smash. So history repeats itself. I don't like that saying, but it has it has some foundation to it. It didn't uh, happen or got created without a reason. So, yeah, it's the first segment with a short introduction. I think I will record the rest of it once I come back from Donegal town. I just stopped to pick the takeaway food for my wife. Julian and myself, we won't have the regular dinner today, just our kind of half favorite um, meal that is, I think, complete invention of ourselves. I'll talk about it maybe uh, further on and maybe even provide the recipe, but I still have uh, the second part of update that I started yesterday to follow on about the 
podcast performance in 2023 and in general. So for now, that's it. I see you shortly. All right, I am here again. And this will be a very, very, very short thing to kind of close uh, close off that segment that I recorded uh, in the car, mainly because it's 10 p.m. and I spent pretty much about half an hour or more on the blog post. So it's quite extensive follow-up, so second part of the summary of 2023 and all-time performance of the blog and the podcasts on both sides or kind of like the Spotify and Apple uh, side and then the, the YouTube side of things, the channel and the podcast. So a lot of statistics, a lot of kind of graphs so you can see how it performed, uh, a lot of explanations. So if you're interested and you like uh, hearing the numbers and see how it grows uh, in general, yeah, I highly recommend checking up the write-up on www.bluntforcehealing.com or simply bluntforcehealing.wordpress.com. The link is in the description of the YouTube video, uh, the actual Spotify episode or Apple episode, wherever you are, you should have access to the links below uh, in the description so you can get you can go to the to the blog post and read both fairly extensive blog posts quite long much longer than than usual but i also wanted to uh, exhaust a little bit of the data that i have access to to show you how tough it is but also that the longer you work on something and you're not afraid to change certain things, the better it performs. Of course, my podcast and my blog are nowhere near something that I'd like it to grow to. So the the vision for it is, is the bigger, the better and... Of course, I would love to scale it, but I'm only one person and I want to make sure that by scaling it in the future, I won't lose the that genuine and honest side of it because the whole purpose of it is to journal my daily life. Not sure how long it will take. I might end it after a thousand of days or maybe two thousand of days and... Uh, while this project might just naturally get the closure, it will be only a foundation for a spin-off of something bigger and hopefully better. So don't worry about it. I'm not worrying about it, to be honest. And if somebody likes it and people will keep liking it, of course, if you know anyone that might like it, share it, please, because the more people actually interested in that content, the more motivation and drive it will give to me to create it, especially on those days that are very tough and difficult to write anything up or record anything. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much for popping in. I really recommend going to uh, today's and yesterday's blog write-up because there's a lot of um, history and data about how it started, how cringe it was for most of the 2023 and those anomalous events that happened uh, in certain areas that boosted my confidence a little bit and kind of cover that cringiness that <laughs> I feel sometimes when recording or, or writing uh, the content. So for now, that's it. I hope you have a great rest of the day, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. Apologies for the washing machine in the background, but stay safe, stay tuned and see you tomorrow.